Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jados Creatives and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna teach you some basic and advanced tools and features in Photoshop that is usually used in creating photo manipulation. So I have laid out all these images here and we're gonna be trying out different tools and features uh, for each of these images. So let's go over to our first image. So we're gonna be using the pen tool, of course for creating a selection. So you can access the pen tool by just pressing P or just by clicking this icon over here. So basically in the pen tool, you just create points like this. And if you want to create a curve a path, just hold the uh, left mouse button and you can create a curve path like this. And just simply create points and connect to the end point, right click, make selection and then press OK. If you want to add another selection without removing this selection, just simply do the same thing, make selection, but this time choose add to selection and then just press OK. And if you want to subtract from this uh, existing selection, just do the same thing, right click, make selection, but this time choose subtract from selection and then just press OK. And then you can just press Ctrl J to duplicate your created selection. And there you go now we go over to our second image so I already have created uh, my selection over here for this subject so this is what it looks like now and we really don't have uh, the that accurate selection for our hair over here so to fix this it's just really easy so just click your layer and just hold control and the uh, left mouse button to uh, show the selection and then go to select and choose select and mask. Now we can use this refine edge brush tool over here and just simply brush on those uh, edge of the hair to remove those uh, unnecessary parts. So you can also adjust the smoothness, the feather and the contrast over here. So we can try on over the contrast just to remove those parts that we don't need. Then just brush over again and there you go and then whenever you're satisfied just press OK and we go on to our third subject. So for this one we're gonna be using the select subject feature in Photoshop. So just uh, click your image over here then just simply go to select and choose subject. So it's gonna automatically create a selection around our subject over here. Uh, sometimes it creates close to perfect selections uh, like this one it's not really that close to perfect uh, selection yet so we can fix this one by using a lasso tool so you can access the lasso tool by just pressing L on your keyboard or just clicking this icon over here so if you want to add to an existing selection just hold the shift key and it's gonna show a plus sign like this and then just simply create a selection if you want to subtract from the selection, hold the Alt key and it's gonna show a minus sign. And then just simply create a selection like this. And then you can just press Ctrl J to duplicate the selection or create a layer mask by clicking this icon. So now we can move on to our next image. So I'm just gonna click on this one. And then we can just use a magic wand tool for this one if we want this flower over here. So just click this icon here or just right click and it's gonna show up this menu and, and then just choose magic wand tool. Then just simply click on this area here and it's gonna automatically create a selection uh, around our background over here. Then you can just uh, rasterize this layer here, right click uh, and then choose rasterize layer and you can just simply delete that background. Or you can just also choose a layer mask for this one. So layer mask is by clicking this icon and then um, just press Control i to invert the layer mask and then it's gonna show up the image. So now let's go over to our um, fifth image. So now let's say that we have a red light in the right side of the subject. So I'm just gonna unhide this eye icon over here. So now of course we need some red highlights on the right side. So to do this First, create a selection around your subject. I already created my own uh, selection here. And now just simply click your uh, subject 
then go to adjustment layer click your saturation create a clipping mask to affect the uh, image that is uh, below the uh, adjustment layer then choose colorize and let's increase the lightness and of course choose red for this one since we have a red light source on the right side and then I'm gonna increase the saturation and also the lightness and then you can just press ctrl I to invert the layer mask and now it's time to uh, paint back those red lights so let's choose a brush tool by pressing B or just by clicking this icon over here okay so remember whenever in a layer mask like this one so uh, this is gonna be your uh, foreground and background uh, color so you can interchange between these two colors just by pressing X so if you want to paint back those red highlights you use a white foreground so it's gonna look like this and whenever you want to erase just press X and it's gonna become a black foreground and then just erase those uh, highlights that you don't need so I'm gonna choose white for this one and let's create some soft highlights on the right side of our subject and I know we don't really have that accurate highlights for this one so let me just zoom in so basically we need to remove those excess highlights so to fix this just double click on the right side of the adjustment layer and it's gonna show up this dialog box over here so just go over to the underlying layer and then just separate these two sliders so just hold the alt key in your keyboard and then drag the slider to separate and it's gonna disperse the highlight and remove those highlights in those areas that are supposed to be dark and then just press ok whenever you're satisfied and now it looks better and it looks more realistic so now we move on to our sixth image so here I'm gonna show you a simple way to match the color of your uh, image or your subject so I so these are two separate images so the car here is our subject and of course our background so to match the color of the two just select your car image and then go to image adjustments and choose match color but of course first rasterize your layer to be able to apply that effect so right click and choose rasterize layer then go to image choose adjustments and then match color so the source here is gonna be the name of your file which is basic to advanced tool tutorial and the layer here is gonna be the name of your background which in this case it's called car background so there you go and it's already matching the color of the background you can also adjust the luminance or the overall lightness of your uh, car image and also the color intensity and whenever you're satisfied you can just press ok and now you're done with your color matching and now let's move on to our next image so you've already seen our thumbnail for this tutorial and to create that same effect we can use a puppet warp tool so I'm just gonna select on this image here so of course just duplicate first this uh, seashore over here so I already have mine duplicated and then we can just go to edit and choose puppet warp so in a puppet warp uh, you just simply create points like this to have your uh, image locked in place so when so that whenever you drag some points it's gonna stay in place like this one so you can also add more points and then just drag over here and add more points here and just if you want you can also uh, turn uh, parts of the images just by simply clicking this uh, point so make sure it's blue hold the alt key in your keyboard and it's gonna show up this cir uh, circle and you can drag these points to uh, make some adjustments of curving those uh, image and that's how you use a puppet warp tool and just click apply whenever you're satisfied so just I mean just take your time in using the puppet warp tool so just simply create more points to have more control on creating or warping those uh, parts of the image and now we move on to our next image so this one is really simple so to create some fire effects so of course we have our fire image here and then just go over to 
the blending mode over here just click this one and then just choose screen and now you already have your fire image then just press ctrl t to transform the image and just uh turn this one and match our uh, hand of our subject over here and the next one is we have a warp tool so i'm just gonna click on this image here so these are two separate images and to really match the sleeve over here for our subject so you can just click on this image and then just press ctrl t and click this warp icon over here or right click and choose warp so what you can do in a warp is that you can drag these points here to match the uh the form or the position of your image you can also add more um lines here by just simply holding the uh control key in your keyboard and then you can add more lines here so that you can have more control on dragging those or on warping your subject and now just press the move tool or the check icon to apply the effect okay so the next one is we have this image over here so i have uh, my uh, feather uh, over here so we're just gonna simply create some depth of field by the, just adding some blur to our feather so just simply select your feather layer then go to filter choose blur and add a gaussian blur so what this does is it creates some depth of field for your uh, overall photo manipulation work so you can just simply drag this slider here to adjust the blurriness of your image and then just press ok whenever you're satisfied so the next one is we have this image over here so creating those uh, shadows or water reflections uh, on your photo manipulation works can be somewhat like tricky but with this tool you can make it more realistic so i've just duplicated this image over of my fin over here so the bottom part is the duplicate and to make it more realistic so that it looks more of that saw uh, uh water shadow just click on this layer so this is gonna be our fin layer or our shadow layer for our fin and then just go over to the toolbar and just choose this smudge tool over here and then just simply smudge this layer and you can also adjust the strength and just simply brush or smudge this layer to make those um wave effect on your shadow so there you go and the next one is we have this image over here so let's say you want to remove this dolphin so it's really easy with the lasso tool uh, just press the l key in your keyboard for the lasso tool and then just create a selection there you go let's select our image here so this is gonna be our image let's rasterize our image first so right click and choose rasterize layer now we can right click on this one choose fill and let's choose content aware on this drop down menu and then just press ok now photoshop does really a good job especially when our uh, subject is on a background that is a pretty much solid color now you can just press ctrl d to deselect so now we move on to our last image so let's say that we uh we wanted to remove the this um, image of the person over here so it's really easy we're just gonna use a clone stamp tool so just press s or just select the clone stamp tool in this toolbar over here so just hold the alt key in your keyboard and then just press over on the background that you want to sample from which you can use to cover up your image so just hold the alt key and then just press on the background over here so now you can see that it's copying that layer over here so just simply paint on or just align those layer and now it's gonna remove the uh, subject just like this and we are already done with our tutorial for today 
So basically, these are just a preference uh, collection of my tools that I usually use in creating my own photo manipulation. So I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and if you do, just hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.